What's up guys, we are back with another Super 7 Ultimates Silverhawks Wave 2 review, and we're actually taking a look at a Silverhawk this time around. We're taking a look at one of two in this wave. We've got Bluegrass on deck today, and I am super happy with the packaging for this line. I just love the fact that everything is super chrome, super glossy. I suppose there is a joke somewhere here that the packaging is more silver than the actual toys, but here we are. So we've got a slip cover with the with the Silverhawks logo on the front. Again, all foil, all chromed out. And then the back has the Silverhawks logo stamped on there. Pop that slip cover off and we've got Bluegrass there in all of his glory with all of his accessories in the big window. You've got more of that foil chromed out packaging, Silverhawks logo down at the bottom. And then the back of the box gives us a cartoon shot of Bluegrass along with a bio. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package are Silverhawks Ultimates Bluegrass, the first of the actual Silverhawks that I'm taking a look at, and easily my favorite of the two that we have in this wave. You know, just based on his entire motif, the guitar aspect, his voice actor, so there's a lot about Bluegrass that I just really like. So let's see what he can do, see how he moves around. I suspect he's gonna be, I don't know, kind of similar to Monstar in some ways. So we've got a head. Let's, I'm going to take the hat off just so I don't throw it all over the place. You've got a head that can look up a little bit. He can look down slightly. Decent tilt, though. You've got full rotation there. Arms out at the shoulders. They are tight and ratchety. You've got swivel. We've got a bicep swivel here. You've got single jointed, but super, super deep cut elbows. They are slightly better than 90 as a result. And you have swivel there. We've got hinges and rotation at the wrist. So nothing too crazy there. You do have a diaphragm cut, which actually does function pretty decently. He's got some tilt side to side, backwards and forwards. I mean, it's it's not great, but it is better uh, than some other figures. So I'm, I'm okay with that. It's just, it's the nature of this design, I think, that is probably going to prohibit a lot of forward movement because he's got all these, like, you know, armor plates. They don't have a place to go. As far as the waist, it's just a, a twist down here, though. Legs go out all the way so he can do the Silverhawk splits. Kick forward. Slightly backwards as well. You do have a thigh twist up there. Deep cut knees, so you can get that full 90 bend there, and their swivel. And then you've also got hinges, and you've got rotation down in the ankle as well because of how these are built, so the, the actual ankle itself will swivel. Rocker is going to suffer a little bit, be, well, quite a bit actually, because of the design. So he's basically got, you know, sort of cowboy boots kind of things going on. There is a very, very little rocker. You can sort of get it, but it's gonna it's always gonna get hung up on these cuffs that are down here on his legs. So he is pretty decently articulated. Like I don't have too many hang-ups on this one. I do think the ankles are probably my biggest concern because it is gonna get in the way of posing him around and just getting him to stand in certain certain poses. But otherwise, I do think he moves pretty decently. And again, I'm really happy to see them going harder on these deep cut elbows and knees to try to make a difference in the range that we can get. Now, the visuals on this guy are ultimately what I've been most interested about. And I, and I think that's I think that's a lot of folks when it comes to Silverhawks, just because we've been waiting to see what the finished product is going to look like. And, I, and for the most part, I'm pretty happy with Bluegrass. You know, the Silverhawks are all very different. There is nothing standard about any of them. They all have different body styles. They all have different colors, uh, things like that. Bluegrass is the, the blue one. He's the most blue. So, you know, Quicksilver is silver. Copper Kid is copper. The twins are supposed to be, you know, more gray. And Bluegrass is the blue one, which, of course, you know, is his name. Their names all indicate exactly what they look like. He is also more slender than the other, well, the other two males. So, you know, Steel Wheels is also, is obviously huge, and Quicksilver is just more muscular, but being the pilot, and just, just a pilot, and not being one of, the, like, the actual augmented Silverhawks, Bluegrass is a little bit different. He's much more slender, a little bit more svelte, and I really like his design. I love the cowboy aesthetic and the idea behind that, because it's kind of ridiculous, but it works. I do think that there's a lot of consistency in the colors and the paint on this guy, especially between the face and the the actual flesh arm. That's really clean, really consistent. I don't have any issues to speak up with that. The body is obviously where a lot of the interest is going to come from because that's where all the paint, that's what we've been talking about for years at this point. And there is, just like with Monstar, there is something on him that definitely makes him shiny. 
He's not, he's not matte, and he's also not vac metal, he's not super metallic, but he has a sheen to him. And you can sort of see it, you know, as it picks up the light. And I think it looks really good. There's also shading all over him. Every bit of musculature has, has a slightly deeper blue than his, than his armor to bring out that detail. So you've got it all around the ab section, the pecs, on the arms, the wrists, the legs, and he's even got it all over his back. It's slight, it's not, you know, it's not really heavy handed or anything. But I think it works, and I think it looks really good. Uh, you, of course, of course, have the uh, the bandana, you know, the, the kerchief or whatever, wrapped around his neck, which is a separate floating piece. Just to add a little bit of pop of color, you do have extra color down here. Uh, he has some silver down on the, the fringes of what would be the, you know, the cowboy boot aspect of his legs and his feet. But I think the color works. I think it looks really good. I think it's about as close as you could get for bluegrass here. I'm curious to see how the others are going to stack up because I do think that Steel Will in particular has a problem with his color, but bluegrass by comparison is pretty spot on. I think he looks really good. And I do I do think the design idea and the way Silverhawks are built and sort of put together as characters really works here too. You can sort of see some of that armor plating. They look like they're covered in, you know, some sort of protecting uh, shell around them basically, which I, think, which I think does work pretty nicely. The face on bluegrass I think they killed it. I think it's absolutely spot on. Looks really good. The face paint, again, fully, fully painted face. So another instance of this really showing us what is capable when we have a fully painted face in this line, especially when you're going for something animation accurate. So I think it looks really good. He's got his mohawk, more of that pearlescent style paint up top, but the he's got sort of just a little bit of a smirk on this face, which befits his character, I think. And, and the face is just really clean and crisp, nice throughout. Good clean eyes, eyebrows, all of that. And specifically like the line around the armor plating for the helmet, you know, the face, whatever you want to call it, I think is pretty clean and crisp as well. And then of course you do have your cowboy hat, which he comes with uh, in the box and it just sort of sits on top of the mohawk. I will urge some caution on that because you could probably damage that mohawk uh, if you are too heavy handed with it, but I think it looks good. And of course it complements the cowboy boots and the kerchief and just of course his, his overall demeanor. But I, I think he looks really good. I'm really happy with the way he turned out. Despite some of the articulation hangups that he has, I think the visuals for me definitely overshadow some of the movement problems uh, that he has. And then as far as some size comparisons go, let's start with other ultimates. So we've got Monstar here on the left, and why not another space ultimates here is uh, Astronaut Homer, to give you an idea of what he looks like with some other Super 7 stuff. This is obviously the better comparison because they go together. And Monstar isn't huge in this form, but I think he's big enough that you can see he looks a little bit more menacing and looming over bluegrass. And let's move Homer and let's do a different ultimate. It's just something that makes a little bit more sense, or at least shows the scale better. So here he is with a turtle. So there's Leo. And then let's move Monstar aside and let's do a Mythic Legions figure. So there is a Xylernian Guard from the recent All-Stars 5 wave. And let's take Leo aside and let's do a G.I. Joe Hasbro figure. So here is Spirit. And then let's do one more. Let's do another Ultimates just because this is this is a really good comparison. So here is lion -O, And of course, these two go together for a lot of reasons. But that gives you an idea of exactly what the, the Thundercats and the Silverhawks are going to look like next together. And frankly, when it comes to m mashing anything up, it's always going to be these for me. And I think they work pretty nicely. Now, as far as accessories goes, Bluegrass, like the rest of the majority of the Silverhawks wave, is just loaded. Absolutely loaded with accessories. So many accessories that they need two trays in the package to hold them all. It's, it's a, both a good and a bad thing for me because, frankly, I get kind of overwhelmed when it comes to all of this stuff. I'll never fault all of the inclusions and things we get, but I end up not using about half of it. So, to start with, we do get two extra head sculpts, so he has that sort of stoic head on him in the package. We get a, and this is my favorite head, this is a very bluegrass head, you get the winking head. Uh, so he has a smile, he's got a wink going, and then you can use the hat with all of these heads. So it, it very much works with all of them. And then he also gets another head that is very similar to that first one, but he has a raised eyebrow and he's got a little bit of a smirk going. So both of these extra heads do very much convey Bluegrass's personality. And I'm really happy with that. I love the, the winking face. I'm, I'm very much gonna use that pretty much all the time. And he comes with an alarming number of hands. So uh, to start with, he does have just the sort of, you know, relaxed hands on him in the box. And then we get a set of, of gripping, or of rather fist hands, not gripping. You get a, you do get a set of gripping hands though. So we get a set of those. And of course, you know, he's got varying sides. So you get the, you know, the, the cyborg side, you get the, the human side. 
and then we get a set of thumbs up hands. I'm always a fan of these. I really like being able to have those for figures. He gets a right flat, just sort of relaxed, but flat or chopping, saluting style hand. We get a right picking hand. Of course, this is for the guitar. He has a handful of hands that are specifically meant for guitars. And then you get a couple more for the guitar as well. So two more with different, you know, just different posturing, different fingering techniques here. And then you get a left hand to hold the bridge of the guitar as well. So a lot of the hands, he gets he gets so many extra because he has so many options when it comes to the guitars, which obviously make a lot of sense for him. We get the uh, tied up lasso, which I'm not, I'm not so sure about this one because it has no place to like be stored really. You can sort of put it on his arm if you want, but I probably won't use that. And then we get the actual lasso and I'm, I'm confused by this. It's not bendy. It's actually a very rigid, pre-posed piece of plastic. Now, once you have it wrapped around someone, you can sort of manipulate it a little bit better when you have some tension on it. But this is a separate piece up here. This actual coil with the loop, with like, you know, the lariat thing, it's actually a separate piece. So that's, it's kind of weird. It's a weird whip. I'm not so sure, or a lasso. I'm not so sure about this. I figure it's going to be able to be pretty easily used, you know, wrap it around Monstar and he can hold onto it just fine, but it is in kind of an awkward shape and it does not, I'm worried I'm going to snap it. Like it feels like it's going to snap. So beware of that when you're messing around with that. Now, the big thing for Silverhawks is of course the, the Hawks aspect of it and all the Silverhawks get birds. Bluegrass is a little bit different because his bird actually does a lot more stuff, really. So to start with, we do have two guitars to talk about. The first of which is one of the birds. So this is Sideman. So Sideman can turn into a guitar. And I am so happy with the way these guitars turned out. Save for one thing, one little frustrating thing I'm going to talk about. But Sideman looks great. I'm really happy with the paint on it, the sculpt, the sizing. And then, of course, you get all of Sideman's various forms. So we get Sideman uh, in flight. And, you know, Sideman is basically a guitar that transforms into a bird and vice versa. So his back is a, is a guitar. And I think this looks great. The head does seem to be pre-posed, or at least it is on mine. It does not want to move. I don't know if it's supposed to move or not, but it sure isn't. But it looks good. The paint is very similar to Bluegrass himself. But the detail is really good. I'm, I'm very happy with these. I, I really like those. You know, I say this with turtles a lot. Any figure that gets a buddy is instantly better. So the Silverhawks are already kind of a leg up on other characters. And then uh, you've got Sideman on his sort of perched mode. And this can go on Bluegrass's arms. I'm going to urge some caution on this because he's got rigid feet. You know, like the actual claws, they're rigid. I'm kind of worried that you're going to scratch the plastic or scratch the paint. So just be careful. Word to the wise. Uh, but it does fit on there pretty good, and you can sort of have the two sort of hanging out. So I'm, I'm really happy with the way the birds turned out uh, in this. And then we, of course, get back to the guitar. So you've got Sideman in his guitar form. Looks great. So that's just Sideman as a guitar. But Bluegrass has another guitar. He has Hot Licks. And this is, you know, his actual weaponized electric guitar. So this is more, you know, like an actual guitar versus a bird that is in guitar form. So another one that has the strap, you do have to put these straps on. They go on pretty easily. I haven't had any issues with them. Paint on this is really good. The, the lines for the, the frets and the strings are really clean and crisp. But I do have kind of a problem with this because it has two effect parts and the effects are pretty solid. So you've got this one here, which goes into a hole at the end, and it's just a laser blast. But it looks good. You know, we don't get tons and tons of effect parts with Ultimates. We're getting more and more, but historically we haven't had tons, and I'm, I'm a big proponent of this. So we get the laser blast because Bluegrass uses his weapons via the guitar. And then we've also got this, which is definitely more of his signature effect, the actual like music note blast, but I am having just the hardest time getting this thing to stay on. Whereas this one pegs into the hole here, this thing actually wraps around this port. And I feel like each time I use this one and then use the other one, it's deforming it in a different way. And I have to sort of coax it back to make it want to work. Like it really, like right now, it's just not, it's not going to stay on at the moment. I can get it to stay, but it is taking a lot more effort than I would have liked. Because honestly, this is one of the coolest effects I've gotten for a long time. Uh, it is, you know, obviously like a clear, translucent energy blast with blue lines on the inside and then like the musical notes coming out of it. 
So when I can get it to work, it's really good, but when I can't, it's just incredibly frustrating. It's also almost as heavy as the guitar, so there is a weight distribution thing going on. You're gonna have to do like a dance with this to make to make this stay. So he does come with some really, really solid accessories. Do not get me wrong. I do find a couple of them to be kind of quizzical. That lasso in particular is just odd because of how it's made and how it's posed. And then this uh, is just kind of difficult to deal with. I'm having trouble with it personally. Your mileage, of course, may vary. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with Bluegrass. I think for the most part, for the most part, they nailed him. The articulation has a couple hangups, mostly around that torso. I wish he could move a little bit better there, but he can move better in other areas than pretty much any other Ultimates that we've seen so far. So they are making changes, and I'm happy to see that. Visually, I don't really have any concerns with them. I think the color looks good, the sculpt looks good, the shading is good. The face, though, is where it's all about. It's, it's the face. The fact that we're getting fully painted faces is a huge, huge change, and it just makes a world of difference on these figures. I'm really happy to see that we're getting that going forward. And then in many ways, he almost comes with too many accessories. It's, it's frankly kind of overwhelming, and I have that problem a lot with Ultimates. It's definitely still going on here. He just has so, so much stuff. I do find that effect part to be incredibly awesome, but also frustrating because it just doesn't want to stay on the guitar for me. But he does have a lot of awesome stuff. I really like the, the guitars. I like the birds. I like the effect parts, despite how frustrating they are for me at the moment. But he comes with a ton of stuff, and there's a lot of options when it comes to bluegrass. So that's going to do it for this look at the Super 7 Ultimate Silverhawks Wave 2 Bluegrass. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time. <laughs>